Hi, I'm Steve, and I wanted to give an update on the group build. This is a group build, the German half track hosted by Adam Mann. I'm Steve Jones, and uh, this is my first group build uh, ever. And I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who's been uh, in very encouraging to me and uh, giving me great advice. I just wanted to say that. So my my entry is the uh, SD KFZ. Uh, seven uh, seven slash one, which is the uh, twenty millimeter. I'm gonna probably mess this up. Flak Verling, uh, basically uh, uh, anti aircraft, uh, twenty millimeter anti aircraft gun, strapped on the back of a SD KFZ seven or a uh, an eight ton medium tractor. So this is my kit. It's from uh, Tamiya, and it's kit number three five zero five zero. Now this is the same kit, someone else is doing this, Burb Dude is doing uh, the same kit, so it's going to be interesting to see how both turn out. And I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thanks to Burb Dude because he's been really helpful in uh, giving me a lot of pointers and things like that. So he's been doing uh, modeling a lot more, a lot longer than I have. It's been actually 35 years since I've uh, done any kind of modeling, uh, since I was a teenager, so um, it's, been, it's been fun but it's been uh, a lot to learn. So now what I've learned a little bit about this, uh, this uh, half track is that it's, uh, uh, if I, as I understand it right, the flak verling means uh, four barrel uh, flak gun. And uh, basically it was uh, put on the back of, of this uh, half track, as I mentioned. And it was to provide uh, support for airfields that the uh, Germans had had taken over, or even their own uh, their own airfields, and it was part of. They had basically like six six of these half tracks, as part of the 84th Flaksturm uh, Abteilung or division. Uh, so it was uh, part of a light mobile anti aircraft unit of the of the Luftwaffe. So um, I'm. I plan on making a diorama for this, and in fact, even the color scheme, I'm just going to keep it simple and go with what is shown on the, the box art. Uh, so it's going to be a German gray uh, with a winter whitewash and some weathering. So I haven't really done weathering before, so there's actually a lot of things I haven't done before, so this, is, this has been interesting. So I want to talk a little bit about the, the build. I've uh, unfortunately, I didn't get my uh, camera gear uh, until now, so I've already built the vehicle. So I, I was going to actually do a, um, I don't know, a mini review because this kit is pretty old. It's uh, It was released in 1975, and um, I had some interesting time with it. So I just want to talk about the build. Okay, so as I said, or as I mentioned, um, yeah, this build went together really fast, uh, and that's that's saying a lot even for me doing it because again, I, I really haven't. I, I've started a couple of other uh, builds. In fact, I started the a, um, a Panzer III for the Barkus build, which I feel bad that I did not complete that. Just kind of life got in the way. So sorry, Andy. Andy hosted that. Uh, Tactical Jackalope. Uh, hosted that and unfortunately I was not able to finish that and that was in um, in honor of Hamaker Hamaker Barkas and so anyways uh, I'm sure there will be others that I can participate in but I do plan on finishing this one so uh, to go over what uh, what I experienced in building this thing um, again it, it took literally only a couple days uh, so uh, that was pretty fast even for me um, I did find that the plastic was pretty soft and it was difficult to, and flashy. So it was difficult uh, compared, I'm comparing this with a dragon kit that I've been doing. Actually, I've been uh, working on a couple of dragon kits and um, the, the plastic is definitely more soft. So it almost like frays as I'm, I don't know how to describe it, but kind of frays away as I'm uh, sanding on it. Uh, and so it just takes a little bit longer uh, and there was a lot of flash and a lot of mold seams, so just a lot of cleanup. Uh, but despite that, uh, there weren't that many parts, so I was able to uh, get it done pretty quick. 
Um, I did have some problems attaching the body to the chassis, and that could be for a couple of reasons. Uh, I'm new at this, and also I'm <laughs> I only have one eye right now. I had eye surgery, so I uh, had a detached retina, but I'm doing fine. Uh, I can only just see out of one eye uh, at this moment until it heals. So I have no depth perception, so you can see probably some close-up. Uh, here is I've got some issues with uh, part fit, so that that might be the reason why I had some issues there. Um, let's see if we can see this. Um, I did uh, have to use some putty, and my uh, putty skills uh, need some help. But uh, anyway, so I've, I had to do some seams here, be fill some seams because I couldn't get the body completely down onto the chassis, so there was some gaps. Uh, let's see, another thing I did, uh, get it back in here in the center. Uh, I installed the gates upside down, but I did figure that out and flip them back. Um, it was suggested by many people that I drill out the barrels, and I have to admit they look way better than not drilled out. I didn't even think about it, uh, so I appreciate that. It's very good advice. Uh, let's see what else. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, I must have done this just recently. I have no idea what this is, these little these little guys, these little antennas. There was one on this side, which, as you can see, is not there. This one right here. Um, so this one's gone. It got flicked onto the floor somewhere. I have no idea where it is, so I'm going to have to make one of those. And this one's obviously just laying over, so I'm going to just pull that off. So I have no idea what this thing is. So if you guys know what this is, it's it almost. I looked at some real pictures of vehicles, and it almost looks kind of like uh, antenna, but I I don't I don't know. Um, what else? Uh, so you know, being my my first complete model or completed model after so many years, I'm not uh, going to hold myself to the same uh, perfectionist standards that I usually hold to myself. Uh, so I'm going to kind of give myself a break. Um, what else? Uh, so the next up, what I want to do is uh, do some painting, and so that's going to happen. I'm going to this afternoon. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, a, a shadow coat and then a highlight coat on the model, and uh, probably uh, we'll do a German gray as I mentioned, and then a little bit of weathering, and then I'm going to do a. Uh, I'm going to try my hand at some hairspray um, chipping techniques. So we'll see how that goes, but uh, that will be in my next update. Uh, I'll be talking about how that went. All right, so that's about it. Um, this wraps up my update for the Adam Man half German half track group build, and I guess we'll see you next time.